Hello, welcome to my channel. If you love the simple and healthy dishes, Korean bibimbap is a must-try dish. It is a nutritious and balanced meal that incorporates a wide variety of vegetable and protein with a combination of rich flavors, textures, and colors, all in one bowl. That's why this dish is so popular in Korea and around the world. Traditionally, this dish is prepared and served in a hot stone bowl. Today, we will use a regular bowl and a quick, low-fat method to prepare a vegetarian version of the dish. When the white rice is cooking in the rice cooker, we can start to prepare the other ingredients. Today, we will use spinach, bean sprouts, bell peppers, mushroom. I use golden mushroom. Carrot, zucchini, cucumber, and eggs. You can also use other vegetables that you have. Use a grater to shred the carrot. Then shred the zucchini. Finally, cut the cucumber into thin sticks. Slice the bell pepper. In the boiling water, add the bean sprouts and cook for about 3 minutes over high heat. Take them out and put them into the cold water for several seconds and take them out again. In the same boiling water, add a spinach and cook for 1 minute. Then repeat the same process. Cook the zucchini, mushroom, and a carrot. Be careful to not overcook them. Traditionally, Korean people fry all the ingredients slightly in a cooking pan. For the seasoning, we need the popular Korean chili paste, chopped garlic, rice vinegar, soy sauce, toasted sesame seeds, sesame oil. Add all the ingredients in a bowl. Add a little bit of honey, which is optional. Mix them well. The sauce is done. To season the vegetables, we will use the sesame oil, toasted sesame seeds, and the black pepper. You can also use the salt, but I will not use it because our sauce is already salty. We also prepare a bowl of white rice and a chopped green onion. Cut the spinach. Add the sesame oil. Toasted sesame seeds. Garlic. And a black pepper. Mix together. Do the same process with the bean sprouts and other vegetables. If you don't have too much time, you can skip the seasoning process because we have already made the sauce with those ingredients.
Finally, cook a sunny side up a fried egg. We are now ready to serve this dish. Place the rice in the middle of a big bowl. Arrange the vegetables on top of the rice in separate sections. Put the egg on the top of the dish. Then sprinkle the peeping bag with the sesame seeds and the chopped green onion. Put the sauce over the top of the bowl. It looks colorful and delicious. Are you ready to give it a try? Before eating it, we need to mix everything together with a spoon and chopsticks. Wow! The combination of flavors, textures, freshness, and the colors is truly remarkable. It is also simple and healthy that I can eat it every day. I hope you enjoy this video, and I see you next time. Come say ale.